this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do an orange flower design on this glass wine bottle. I will be using several brushes today. A number 6 and a number 10 a magic flat brushes. A Westonia fine liner which is actually a nail brush. And then another nail brush which is a number 2 fan brush Dewberry U Pro, a number eight Deerfoot stippler, and a dotting stylus. Dotting stylus is you can use anything you want for the dots, doesn't matter. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin by double loading. Oh, excuse me, I forgot about my paint here. Let's start with that. I'm going to be doing all folk art paints, combination of multi-surface and enamels using fresh foliage, <clears throat> excuse me, wicker white, moon yellow, real brown, thicket, and this one is aqua and autumn leaves. Alright, so let's go ahead and start again here. I'm going to be double loading my <clears throat> excuse me, my number six brush. And just I like to dip in the sides, but you can actually go into a side and and go like that and dip into that and then do your blending strokes. You know, move over here and do your blending strokes. Put these together a little bit closer, however you want to do it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just dipping into each side, doing a few little strokes, and then we'll begin. Again, just a very, very simple design. And I'm going to be starting by doing a basic U-shape design for the base. And then I'm going to come up here and... Let me turn it a little bit here. I'm, I'm a lefty, so you may have to start in a different direction than what I'm doing. But I'm just doing the top part of the floral design. And then I am going to reverse it and do the base, which will come over. Actually, it should have come down a little lower. We'll come down here into the base and come up and then connect with the top. If you feel like you need to do another coat, feel free to do so. You can either give it some dry time, hit it with a heat gun, or just paint over it again. Another coat while you're doing this. And with this design, you can leave a center open, or you can close it. It doesn't matter, because you will be tapping into, into it here. And let me go ahead and do another little... And you can reverse these. The bases don't have to be the same. I like to, to do a little bit of a mixture here. This is just basically pushing the brush down, doing some wiggling to it, coming around. And then I like to switch the color so that the bottom is a little bit different than the top. And then keep going here. And I'm going to go over it again. The main thing with glass painting, a few, few suggestions here is that you first of all clean your bottle soap and water go over it with rubbing alcohol before you start painting on it just to make sure that any grease and grime has been removed so that it sticks well to your glass when you're painting make sure that you're putting on some good coverage good coating and the reason for that is just to give it a good a good base and it should be more durable for you if you make sure that the coverage is good. That's why I say with this design I might want to give it some dry time. 
I think I'm going to hit it with a with a, my heat gun and come back in to go over it again just to make sure it does get a good coverage as I the more opaque my designs are the happier I am with them and I just feel like with this color combination some color combinations work really well and the paint is more I think has more pigment to it depending on the colors that you're using and therefore it will look nicer because you don't want your paint too thick to where it actually bubbles when you bake it you don't want that so that's something you do have to be a little concerned with when you're doing a design whoops painted this wrong doing a design like this and all these blooms don't have to be the same size they can be different and for some reason these oranges and the yellows aren't typically very opaque pigment wise so you do find yourself either needing to go over them again or you know giving them more than one coat and you want them to be pretty but I do need to acknowledge the fact that it is so much different painting on glass than it is on paper I always do my designs on paper before I put them on the glass and there is definitely a difference in how they look much sometimes sometimes the designs are actually prettier on paper <laughs> I hate to say that but it's true okay all right I want to do one more because I, I like to do my I like to do my fives I like odd numbers so I'm going to do this Again, just a very simple design and if you are familiar with my channel you already know this but I like to provide easy designs so that people that are beginning feel comfortable and giving it a try if you're an experienced painter you also you know, might want to try my designs and just use them as a basis point and create and put your own your own twist to them if that makes sense okay so I've painted over each one of these twice I'm just doing the final here on this one and then I'm going to hit them with the heat gun because I truly think that will be the best way to go on this just to get a good coverage so I hit it with the dryer heat gun and went ahead and painted over it again give it a second coat so you can see how much uh, more opaque it is as opposed to before I left off all right the next point I'm going to do or next thing I'm going to do I should say besides stick my finger in the paint is do my my trusted deerfoot stippler the number eight and I'm going to pounce it into brown just into the real brown and I'm going to pounce in a center and it doesn't have to be a great center it just I want to have centers in each one of these just so I can then go on to the next step and that's why I say with these you don't have to worry about whether or not you get the center completely closed up when you're doing this painting because I will be tapping in and putting in a center as we go here so it's just a basic just one color brown and that's it I'm just tapping it in all right so we got that topped in I am going to then use the liner go back into the brown and to the white 
And I'm just going to use this fine liner and then just do some fun little pulls like this. Love this brush for this purpose. And again, I'm doing the wicker white and the, the real brown. Just kind of intermixing them a little bit here. And then I'll continue on to each one of these. And I hope you can hear this video better. I had somebody tell me the last video I did, the volume wasn't very good, so I'm sorry for that. I had no idea. I think it's time for me to get a new video camera, actually. But I do know, too, I have my, my air conditioning that goes on down here. So that can be kind of in the way sometimes, too. So I apologize. Simple. Very simple. This liner brush makes doing these kind of lines just incredibly easy. It is a nail painting brush. And I think that's one of the keys to it. That makes it easy because it is meant for smaller designs. So it works well. And I mean, I'm trying to keep from touching these and ruining the design. I am just doing concentrating on the front of the bottle. For the purpose of selling these, I do actually uh, do the whole bottle. But for the video, I don't really find a need to demonstrate a whole whole bottle to you. I think you can get the gist just by what I'm doing here, hopefully. All right, then the next thing I'm going to do once again, very simple. Take my dotting stylus and I'm going to dip it into the brown and then just come in here and do a few little dots on each one. You can do as many as you want or as few. I love dots so I might ever do it, but up to you. And even if you don't want to even add this part, that's fine too. My thing when I do a design is for you to put your own touch into it. It doesn't have to be done exactly the way I do mine. My designs are just to give you something to go by. Just an inspiration. So then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to put in some white. And this just helps it stand out a little bit more, as you can see. You could use different colors too. You don't have to use white and brown. You know, fix it up with some other colors. You can do some contrasting colors. And sometimes even just adding some of the yellow into it, even though there's yellow on this flower or the orange, that's fine too. Again, you have the freedom to create the way you want it to look. All right, so there we go with that. Pretty simple. I hope you're liking it so far. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the uh, notification bell. And... Once you're done viewing the video, make sure you share this on your social network with all your family and friends. Very easy to do. You just have to hit the share button and it will pop up with all the options that you have for your social network. All right, so here we go. The next thing I'm going to work on is my grains. And what I'm doing on here is I'm tapping into my thicket, tapping into my brown on the same side as the thicket, doing some blending strokes, and then I touch on the other side with my fresh foliage and my wicker white and create the color that I want to use for this. 
I am going to make it like it's doing a vine. And so we're going to come down here like that. And as I've mentioned before, if you don't want to, if it's a vine type of a floral design and you don't want it to be that way, you can just do your leaves around it and forget about putting in the, the stems or, or the vines, whatever you, know, you consider these. Alright, so then what I'm going to do here is just put in some little leaves towards the base. And... Just do a little strip like that. And with all these colors that I'm using, it gives you a pretty good coverage. So there's really not as much need to do drying time because you're already getting good coverage, if that makes sense. And I guess that some paints are more opaque, more full, more, um, what do I want to say? Uh, the, the I can lost my train of thought there. Sorry. Okay, more pigment. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's a little bit easier to get good coverage without having to dry, or continue to keep painting over the top. And you also with with painting like this, you just need to take some time to. You know, ease up on your pressure and then just lightly lightly go over the design so you're not picking it up and raising the paint off the glass because that can happen too. I'm just going to pull a little stem down in there. And do the same over here. Let me turn the bottle a little bit. Again, I'm trying very hard not to stick my fingers in it. And you don't have to be too awful concerned with the direction that your paint is going. You can do, do it however you want. I mean, as far as like if I have the dark paint on the top, light paint, you can mix it up. That's up to you. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is take the brush and just put in some of my fun wiggle leaves. And it's okay to go over existing designs. You know, that you're layering it. That's fine. Because you have to think too, if you do that, guess what? It's creating more of a durable design. Okay? Because it's thicker. That's why. And trust me, you know, if, with the bottle it's not as imperative because you're not going to be picking it up and drinking out of it. So, with that being said, it's not as concerning to have the paint as thick. However, you know, you still want it to be a design that lasts for a long time and is pretty. So that would be a reason I would still be a little concerned with getting good coverage. Alright, so I'm going to do it up here. And I've got something fun to add to this, which is what I'm going to be doing with my flat brush. All right, so let's say you're coming from here into there. Very pretty. And as far as getting ideas for designs, you know, I use a lot of things. Use a lot of inspiration. Pinterest is awesome for that. But again, you've got to, if you're looking at somebody else's work, you know, use their work as something to inspire you, not necessarily completely copy, but you can use it to give you an idea or an inspiration, but then make the design your own. 
I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fix this one up a little bit more. Alright, and then we're going to go like this. Pull, pull my stem through. Alright, so there we have it so far. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what else can you do to this? Well, here we go. Again, this is going to be a busy bottle, but we're going to do it. Okay, I'm just going to take some little stones, kind of pull them out here. And these are going to end up being fillers, and you'll see here in a minute what I mean by that. And it's just going to be all over, really. Kind of fills it in, and I think when you put a light in this one, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So it's worth taking the time, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not completely sure yet, because I've not ever, to my knowledge, done this type of thing on glass before. We're going to go like that and just come out here a little ways. And you don't have to put a lot of time in putting this part in because you're going to cover a lot of it up. And you'll see that here in a minute. But it just, I guess, gives you a, <laughs> just a base to work on. Makes you feel better. All right, so here we go. Fan brush. If you want, go ahead and give it some uh, dry time. And then we're going to go in here and we're just going to, I have it straight up like this. One with, and I just tipped it into the color I wanted to use and I'm going to go like that. Remember you're working with wet on wet so right now you could pull up color from something you're painting on top of. That's okay but just keep that in mind because you might end up with that color you know being part of your part of your design and mixing it in a little bit. That makes sense. I hope so. See, I like this. So you might have to take the brush and just kind of wipe it off a little bit. But see how nicely, I mean, it'll fill it in. But then it also will be pretty with light shining through it. Sorry, I'm not getting on the... And you could do the, really do this with any brush. It doesn't have to be the fan brush, but I thought, you know, hey, why not? Let's give it a try. And I'm not staying completely on the stems that I painted, which is fine. Not, not having to do that. I can put a little color in here. And I am touching the flowers a little bit, and you just can kind of go off, off the path here a little bit. Because if you were putting in a spray of this, it wouldn't be just sitting there. It would be random. Right? If you're making a flower, does a floral arrangement. Alright, so then I'm going to kind of wipe it off a little bit. And I'm going to stick it into my white. And I just, I always, when I stick it in, I will put, could do a couple little swipes to kind of get some of the paint out of it so it's not too thick with paint but it has some paint in it. And then again just you know, lightly touching filling it in and you can put it in thickly or you can just do it very freely which I kind of choose that over being too thick with it. If you like it with just the blue then just leave it with just the blue I wanted it to stand out a little bit more, so that's why I added the white. And in my sample, I really liked the white, so that's why I'm doing that. Yeah, see, I mean, it just adds kind of a filler, but it's just another type of flower, or pretend it's another type of flower. And have it come out here, come up. Just how nice. Look how nice I it is. It. 
I hope you do too. We're almost finished, so I'm glad you stuck around. I'm going to do a little bit down here. And just tap, 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 and we're good to go. And I could do some over here. I didn't do any over here, but I, I didn't draw any of the stems over this way, but that's okay. I can still do it. And you can even combine the two colors. I just kind of did it there. All right, so there we go. Hope you like it. Very, very pretty. If you do, again, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And once again, when you're finished viewing, hit that share button that you'll see underneath the video. Share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would appreciate it. All right. Until the next time, thank you so very much for stopping by my channel. You have a good one and stay safe and healthy. See you next time.